In this video, I'll show you how to create a residential building in Revit. Thank you for your subs and likes and let's get started. To create a new project, select New and choose a metric architectural template if you want to use the metric system. If you prefer the Imperial system, go to Browse and select Default inside the English Imperial Template folder. I'll display both metric and imperial measurements throughout the tutorial. I suggest to save your project in a folder to keep Revis periodic backups organized. All the backup files will be saved in this folder instead of scattered on your desktop. In Project Browser, double-click on South View to open it. For this building, we need five levels, including the roof, with a 3 meter distance between each level. So, select Level 2, change the value to 3000 mm, since the standard unit in Revit is millimeters, copy it three times, and adjust the values. You'll notice that level 1 and 2 are blue. This is because they have a floor plan associated with them. If you need a floor plan for other levels, go to View, Plan Views, Floor Plan, and select the desired levels. To create the external walls, go to Floor Plan Level 1, select Generic 300, and choose Edit Type. To create a new type from this, duplicate it and rename it. Go to Edit and select Preview to view the plan and section. Here you can modify the thickness of each level, change the material, insert a new level, alter the function and move it up or down. Keep the structure layer inside the core boundaries in grey and place all other layers such as finishes and insulation outside of them. For this project, I'll only keep this structure and choose a random white material. This is because the main focus is to show you the overall workflow and in a future video I'll make a render of the building. To add an outside skirting, click on Sweeps, Add, change the profile to 3 bricks and add a brick material. It may appear too thick, so go back to Sweeps and add an offset of minus 70. This will make it stick out 30 mm from the wall. Press OK and we are now ready to draw the walls. Click and drag the wall. You'll notice that the reference line is in the center, but we want it to be on the exterior. So press ESC, change the location line to core face exterior and start drawing the external walls. If you have finishes, you can choose finish face exterior instead. Remember that the unit is millimeters unless you have changed it in the properties. The exact measurements will be displayed on the screen. To go to 3D view, click on the 3D view icon. To hide the levels in this view, go to view, visibility graphics, annotation categories and uncheck levels. To adjust the height of the walls, select them, change the top constraint to level 5 which is the roof level. Check it in the south view. You can also change the wall height by selecting unconnected and adding a specific value. Every time you open a view, it remains open and you can toggle between them with Ctrl Tab. Here below, change the detail level to fine and the visual style to consistent colors. You can use different detail levels and styles for each view. To add the floors, go to level 1, select Floor then choose Edit Type. Duplicate the floor, rename it, change the thickness to 10 mm and add the material. Click the Pick Lines icon, then select a line. This creates a copy of that line. Close the lock by clicking on it and repeat the process for all the perimeter lines. Then press the green check mark to apply the changes. Go to 3D View, select the floor and raise it 10 mm. In top view, try to drag a wall. The floor moves with it because we locked it earlier. To create the ceilings, go back to level 1, select ceiling, then choose automatic ceiling. Keep the default option for now. Change the level to 2 and set the height to 0. Then click inside the building. To see the result, go to south view and change the style to wireframe. The ceiling should be below the level, so move it down. To change the thickness, go to Edit Type, duplicate the type, change the structure for a total of 300. Press OK and change the height offset to minus 300. 
or if you prefer, you can change the level to 1 and set the height to 2700 mm. Now you can copy the ceiling to the other levels. To see the result, go to 3D view, hide the wall by selecting it, clicking the eyeglasses icon and choosing hide element. You can also use the shortcut HH to hide and RH to reset. Next, go to level 1 to create a flat roof. Select ceiling, duplicate and rename the type, go to edit and keep only a structure of 150mm. Press OK, select sketch ceiling, then pick line, select all the external borders, lock them, apply the changes by pressing the green check mark and finally change the level to 5. Go to 3D view to see the result. Now let's add some balconies. Go to level 2, select ceiling, choose the ceiling type and duplicate it. Go to edit, delete the finish layer and change the structure to 300 mm. Select sketch ceiling, use this tool to draw a rectangle in this way. Apply it, change the height offset to minus 300 and add the same material as the walls. Go to South View and copy the balcony to the right position. To add the parapets, select Railing, change the level to 2, use Pick Lines, add an offset of 100, select the external border of the balcony and apply the changes. To change the type of the parapet, select the rectangular option, edit type, duplicate it and rename it, then go to the baluster placement editor, change the distance between the vertical profiles and select the spread pattern to fit option to adjust them. To remove the external profiles, remove the starter and end posts. Press apply and then ok. Now you can copy the parapet and adjust its sketch path. Double click on the parapet, go to top view, pick the external line with an offset of 100, then click the trim tool, select the two lines and then apply. Copy the parapet for the balconies below and then select all of the parapets while holding down the control key. Then click the mirror option, draw axis, Draw a vertical line in the center, starting where you see the triangle icon. To add the windows, you can choose one from the window panel, modify it or create a new family. You can also load another Autodesk family by going to the Insert tab and clicking on this icon. However, I prefer using a curtain wall, especially if you don't need a specific window, as it is faster and easier to adjust. Go to the Architecture tab, select Wall, and under the curtain wall option choose storefront. Go to edit type, duplicate it and rename it. Press ok and draw a 3000 mm line in the top view. Select the line, change the base offset to 900 and the height to 1500. Go to edit type and under vertical grid choose the fixed number option and then ok. In this way, you can add the number of vertical profiles you need. In this case, we need two. To change the shape of the profiles, you need to change the profile mullions. Right-click inside the project browser, search, type mullion, and press next. Right-click on a rectangular mullion 50 by 150. Duplicate it and rename it 100 by 50 mm. Double click, modify the width and thickness dimensions to 50. You can also change the material by clicking here. If you don't find a material you like, duplicate the material, I forgot to do this. Then click this icon and when you find a good material, click these two arrows to import it into the library. To change the material of the baluster, select it, edit type, click here and change the material. To change the material of the vertical profiles, check the name here, then go to the project browser, open the baluster square 25mm and change the material in the same way. 
Do you remember the Moolean we adjusted earlier? To apply it, select the window, edit type and switch each Moolean to the new one. To insert the window in the wall, go to level 1, click the Align tool, select the dotted line in the center of the wall and then the one of the window. To check the other side of the wall, select the wall and window while holding down the Shift key and isolate them by clicking on Isolate Element or using the shortcut HI. The glass is too thick and in the wrong position. To fix it, hold the cursor over it and press the Tab key multiple times until it is highlighted. Click to select it, go to Edit Type, change the offset to 0 and the thickness to 10. To reset the hidden elements, you can use the shortcut HR. To adjust the position of the window, go to South View, enable the Dimension tool, place a dimension between the wall and the window. Then select the window, click on the number and change it. Now copy the window to the upper floor using levels as references. You can copy the floor in the same way. To create the blinds, copy a window and move it outside the building. Go to Edit Type, duplicate the type, rename it, change the curtain panel to empty because we don't need the glass. Change the vertical grid to fixed distance and add a number bigger than the width of the window, such as 5000. Apply and click OK. The internal mullions will disappear. Go back to Edit Type and remove all the mullions by selecting None, except for the last one. To create custom profiles for the new mullions, go to File, New, Family. Open the English folder and select Metric Profile Mullion or English Imperial folder and select Profile Mullion if you use the Imperial system. Click on Line, then Start and Radius Arc and draw an 80mm arc with an 80 degree radius. Select Line again, then the Pick Line tool, add an offset of 2 and click on the previous line to duplicate it 2 mm inside the arc. Use the arc tool again to close the profile, but remember to remove the offset before doing so. Select the profile and rotate it by 20 degrees or so. Save it and load it into the profile by clicking on this icon. Rotate the profile by another 60 degrees, save it with a different name and load it into the project. Go back to the project, find the mullions in the project browser, duplicate one, rename it, open it and change the profile to one of the new ones. Repeat the process to add the other new mullion. We need two types of curtain wall, one for open blinds and one for closed blinds. Select the curtain wall, go to Edit Type, change the first horizontal mullion to one of the new profiles. Then change the horizontal spacing to 80. Apply and click OK. To adjust the opening angle, double click on the profile to change it. To add a box on top, duplicate a rectangular mullion and change the dimensions to 100 by 150. Select the blind, go to Edit Type and switch the last horizontal mullion with a new one. And then choose the material you prefer. The blind is now ready to be placed in front of the windows. Go to floor plan and move it to the right position. Duplicate the blind, switch the mullion to the other one and modify the angle if needed. Adjust the height and toggle between the two types as you prefer. Create a new window type for the columns and then select both the window and its blind to copy and place them in the right position. I'll speed up the video and see you later for the door.
to add a door, you can choose one of the families, modify it and create a new one, but this time I prefer to use a curtain wall. Go to Insert, Load Families, Doors and select Door Curtain Wall Double. If you go to the door list, you'll notice that the one we just loaded is not there, because it is designed to be used in a curtain wall. Go to Walls, Storefront, Edit Type, duplicate it and change the curtain panel to the new door. Draw it in top view and now you can change its dimensions as you prefer. If you see multiple doors, simply go to Edit Type and change the vertical grid spacing to a larger dimension than the door width. Go to Level 1, rotate the door and use the Align tool to insert it into the wall, as we did with the windows. Use the Dimension tool to adjust its position. Adjust everything as you like and randomize the opening and type of the blinds. Let me know in the comments what would you like me to model in the next video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time!